Paul Zorka, um, from Castara, um, sport fisherman, conservative fisherman, and I have a serious love for the ocean and its environment. Yeah. If there is no juvenile bait fish, there is no there, there, there is no predators. There, there's no rainbow runners. There's no 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 um no um horse-eyed jacks. There's no jack chavalis. There's no amber jacks coming into the reef. So what would happen? These predators would seek areas with more food, uh, healthier reefs, and the, the first thing that the fisherman will jump and say is that there's no fish. But if you don't protect the area, it's obvious that it, it, the animals that are living there would, would, would leave. So, again, the, the, the fact of, of no predators, no prey is a real, real serious, serious thing. So we need to protect both parties. Our predators, and our prey, and then you will see exactly how the food chain would balance out itself and everybody would benefit on, on, on that end of things. If we don't conserve what we have right now, like what we mentioned before, fishing will become something of the past. Um, fishing, a, a, a lot of our, 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 our kids and, and, and persons who come into our communities would not know a lot of things about fishing so i want us to go out there when we go out there and we see juveniles not not think about the dollar today but think about the dollars in the long run because if we take the juveniles today there'll be no adults in the future all right so i'm just asking my, my fellow fisher folks to go out there and and fish conservatively and, and, and protect what we have and, and, and we'll have fish for a long time again. A special thank you to the fisher folk of Northeast Tobago. What do you think about sustainable managed seas in Northeast Tobago? Stand up and make a better future for Northeast Tobago fisherfolk.